Hey growers, I'm Lucas, and I love to grow cherry tomatoes. They're delicious, the plants are extremely vigorous, and who doesn't like their salad topped with some nice, fresh, juicy cherry tomatoes? But with so many varieties out there to grow, how do you decide which ones are the best for you? Well, in this video, I got you covered because I'm gonna give you my top three cherry tomato varieties that I grow every single year because they're just that good. Without further ado, let's get started. The first variety on my list is called Sun Gold. Now, if you've ever grown tomatoes before, you've most likely grown or at least heard about this variety because it's super popular and for good reason. These tomatoes are bright orange, as you can see, and this is the fully ripe state right here. So they don't get red, they just get nice and orange. Oh, well, I just knocked one off. So these ones have kind of a tropical citrusy flavor. The plants are extremely vigorous. As you can see, this plant right here, I trained it to a single stem. Uh, so I pruned off all the suckers of this plant. And as you can see, it just climbs the stake. Uh, I measured this plant a couple days ago and it's actually close to nine feet tall. So it's, it's extremely tall and it's doing very well. As you can see, it's got loads and loads of clusters just hanging down from the plant. And, you know, just absolutely amazing how much produce you can get from just one plant. Like, look at all this, it's insane. Um, so yeah, this is an extremely vigorous grower. It's a hybrid variety, which means that it is uh, bred for uh, certain aspects such as, you know, flavor or disease resistance. As you can see here, the plant's gotten so tall that I actually had to add some extenders to my original six foot tall bamboo stakes. Um, so what I did was I put some thin uh, bamboo stakes in the top and then from then on I just kept tying it up there and then eventually it outgrew that stake too and I don't know if you can see this but there's some tape there I actually had to add a bamboo skewer because it out outgrew that stake so you know these things are just extremely extremely tall plants if you prune them to a single stem method. You don't have to grow them pruned and single stemmed. You can also grow them in a cage like this. Now this sun gold variety is also doing very well. Um, it was actually planted a little later than, than I usually plant my tomatoes. Um, that's why it looks a little, a little small compared to probably what it could be, but it's still producing some good tomatoes here. So we should get a fairly decent harvest from this plant. All right, so I just thought I'd do a quick taste test of this tomato to tell you exactly what I think of the sun golds. Oh man, it's literally like eating candy. Extremely tropical flavor, almost like an orange. It almost tastes like an orange to me. So really delicious. I'd highly recommend this variety to anybody out there. It's an amazing cherry tomato variety. I've grown it for probably like four or five years now. And it's a staple in my garden. I grow it every year and uh, I encourage you to grow it too. Another one of my favorite cherry tomato varieties is the Super Sweet 100. As you can see, this is just a waterfall of tomatoes on this plant right here. It's just, you know, it's just absolutely knocking my socks off this year. It's an amazing variety. Like the Sun Gold, it's extremely vigorous. It grows extremely tall if you train it to a single uh, liter, like I have here, and I've grown it up these bamboo stakes again. Just tied them on with this stretchy plant tie. And as you can see, the plant looks really healthy here, st uh, still here in uh, September and it's just got so many tomatoes on it, all of the vine. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, this is definitely one of my, my all-time favorite tomatoes and cherry tomato varieties to grow. As you can see, we're getting ripe tomatoes all of the plant. You know, the camera doesn't even, doesn't even really give it a good representation because if you were here, you would see that they're, you know, it just looks a lot more amazing. But um, yeah, the Super Suit 100 is a hybrid as well which means that it is, uh, you know, bred for disease resi resistance. Um, it's starting to get a bit of powdery mildew here, but so were some of my other plants. So what I do with that usually is I just take the leaf and instead of cutting off the whole stem, I just pick it off. You can also use pruning shears, but um, you don't need to. And then I'm gonna throw it in the garbage after, but for now I'll just throw it aside. So this one is not as sweet as the sun gold but it is still sweet. It's kind of your, your standard red cherry tomato that you'd find at the store. So it's really good. And I'd highly, highly recommend this one to anybody. My third and final favorite cherry tomato to grow is the black 
cherry. Now this is actually my first year of growing this variety and um, I've been really impressed. This is just I didn't grow that many plants of this variety. I think this is one of my only ones. I have a, a few that are in cages, but just as you go up the plant, you can see it's absolutely loaded to the brim with tomatoes. And it's a super, super um, vigorous plant, just like all the other cherry tomatoes I've shown you so far. This is a pretty big sized cherry tomato. It's almost, it almost breaks the limit for what a cherry tomato size should be, in my opinion. But it is definitely still delicious delicious tomato and uh, I've trained this one up a steak um, I used the two stem method as opposed to training it to a single stem so I kind of got double the production here going on and I got a lot of ripe ones to pick um, I'm probably gonna do a harvest after this video but it just looks absolutely magnificent like I've never had more successful tomato plants than these ones this year. As far as the flavor on this variety, um, I've actually never tried one, but I'm gonna try it right now for the first time. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that was absolutely delicious. Just an explosion of, of flavor. But it's a little more subtle than the than the Super Seat 100 and the Sun Gold. Um, it's kind of, almost tastes like an heirloom a bit. I think I've read that people, some people call it, um, call its flavor kind of like an heirloom's flavor, but you know, I'd highly recommend this variety. Super productive, if, even if you have a small garden like myself, you know, this is just around maybe two square feet of space growing up a, up, up a steak and it's doing absolutely magnificent. So highly recommend this variety to anybody out there. One interesting thing to note about the black cherry tomato is they have really interesting calyxes. The calyx is basically the kind of green top that has a bunch of spikes on it. As you can see, they've got a five kind of star-shaped calyx. Pretty typical, but the difference is that these ones are extremely long and pointy. As you can see, they don't curl up like the uh, red cherry tomatoes over here. As you can see these ones kind of point up, curl upwards, whereas these ones over here kind of stay spread out and they look really long because of that and it's just really neat and I, I really think that's a cool feature of this tomato great for you know farmers markets stands you really catch people's attention and obviously just a really interesting color I mean it's not really black like they say it is in the variety name but it is you know is really cool it's like a brownish reddish color beautiful absolutely magnificent tomato Highly recommend it. Grow yourself a black cherry tomato plant next year. You won't regret it. If you haven't had much success growing vegetables in the past, cherry tomatoes are the crop for you. They're fairly easy to grow and every year since I've started growing them, I've had amazing yields of delicious cherry tomatoes. So get out there, try to grow some cherry tomatoes next year. Uh, try some of the varieties I mentioned in this video. They really are the best in my opinion. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about how I grow my tomatoes or just any gardening questions in general, be sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section and I'll either reply directly with a comment or I'll make another video pertaining to your question, trying to answer it as best as I can. So I guess, I guess that's it for the video. I guess I'll just uh, sit here looking awkward for the next two seconds.